Rick Wolf of Postone. Who are you and what do you do? Uh, I'm a management consultant. Uh, uh, companies uh, uh, bring me in to uh, help them find answers to big questions and turn those answers into action. Lovely. And um, uh, the, the round table has been around for a couple of thousand years, probably. Uh, what is it that uh, you brought to the round table? What I brought to the round table was an appreciation for what we human beings have been doing in conversation for many thousands of years. I, I've simply tried to make a business conversation as much like a real life conversation uh, as, as possible, or, or uh, the, the phrase that we usually use is to just call it a kitchen table conversation. What pleases you most about the round table? I, I love its reliability. I love its power. Uh, time and time again, when you sit down at the table and, and ask people a, a big question that they find to be a, a, an exciting question, uh, you can be really confident that uh, uh, some wonderful answers are going to come out of it and that uh, if you uh, ask people in a respectful way, uh, they're going to take action um, based on those good answers. Oh, man, tell me, what's a kitchen table? A kitchen table is that place where we uh, let our guard down, where we really listen to people, where we really share with people, where we disagree with people be not because we think they're wrong. We disagree with them because we know that by really wrestling with the issues together, yeah. we, can, we can arrive at the truth. Mm. Oh, let's go back to that wrestling bit in a minute. Um, it sounds like, uh, as the moderator of the round table, you've got a responsibility as the host uh, in the kitchen table conversation. Well, that's very true. Uh, uh, the kitchen table uh, conversation succeeds because has of hospitality, and, and, and the host always has a special responsibility to make sure that the guests at the table feel that they're that this is a, a hospitable place. Mm. Um, so, what is your role as host in, in helping make that happen? And uh, do you drive the conversation? Do you lead it, or do you follow it? Um, well, in fact. Um, I, I suppose that follow is of those options that follow is the closest, but it, it's 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 kind of pace along with it, be part of it. Um, but what you do do as host is that you you guarantee that everybody is is going to have fun. You 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 have to make sure that the shy people get a chance to uh, get a word in. You, that those people who are larger than life are looking for you to help them tone it down, and I mean that quite seriously. Uh, uh, all the larger-than-life people that I've ever met uh, love people, and, and they just uh, they get carried away and, and need a bit of help uh, to, to know. That they need more feedback than the rest of us do to make sure that uh, that they uh, that they leave room for the rest of us to be in the conversation. It doesn't happen often, but from time to time, there's somebody who uh, steps on toes, and, and when that happens, uh, wounded egos need needs to. Be, uh, uh, helped out a little bit. Uh, so let's go back to wrestling. How do you manage wrestling uh, when um, egos come to the table? Uh, well, well, I, I have to say that I, I find they don't. I, 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 it's been my experience that, that when people understand that, that this is not a business meeting, this is a kitchen table conversation, they behave the way they behave at their kitchen table. And people... People are great at wrestling at the kitchen table. That's one of the reasons we come to the kitchen table for our good, rambunctious, lively, laughter-filled conversation. It sounds like you don't mind people being provocative. Everybody knows that that if, if that conversation is a place where you are supposed to exaggerate, and but uh, but we rely on each other to ref to reflect on what we're hearing, and before we leave the table agree on what are the facts and, and what are the uh, exaggerations that, uh, uh, that add spice to the conversation. How do roundtables help organizations take action? For it to be successful, very careful preparation is necessary beforehand. And, and one of the 
key purposes of that conversation is to be preparing the ground for action, to, to understand uh, what resources are going to be needed uh, to make that action happen and to make sure those resources are available, to understand what kind of commitments are going to be needed and, and to, uh, to know what, need, what steps need to take place so that those commitments uh, can be agreed. Uh, and then uh, just uh, good project management on those actions. Where do you think uh, a roundtable fits into change management? Oh gosh, I I I, I would put uh, a, 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 round, a kitchen table roundtable at the very center of of change management. I, I think it's a, a more efficient and effective tool than than most of the other change tools available because it lets us strip away. Uh, what isn't important and really zero in in our conversation with each other on the things that are important. For organizations, what's one barrier to success with roundtables? What's the one thing they have to think about um, before they go into it? Are they committed to uh, allowing every voice to be heard? Mm. Well, uh, is, is everybody, notwithstanding the fact that the organization is a hierarchy, uh, when the conversation is underway, uh, every voice in the conversation has to have equal weight. And is the organization committed to giving every voice equal weight in the conversation? Um, what would be happening in your ideal future with roundtables? Uh, I, I think that uh, organizations would be able to move with more speed, that they would be more adaptable, more flexible, that even though they were moving at more speed, that, that the people on the team would be having more fun. There would be a greater sense of, uh, of, of, uh, of happiness about the fact that even though this is hard work, we know we're moving in the right direction and we, we know that we're working well as a team as we do it. And I work in the world of business. People would be making more money. Having been a pioneer in this, what is it that Postone brings that's unique to this uh, opportunity. After all, conversation in the organization is, is available. And what post brings that's unique is, is something that takes years to develop. And that is that as easy as kitchen table conversation is, there is always the possibility that something will go wrong. And uh, because at Poststone, uh, there's a 16, 17 year track record of kitchen table conversation. It's not the, uh, that we've seen the, everything that can go wrong, <laughs> but we have a good feel for the conditions in which things go wrong and, and the conditions in which you can make sure that everything goes right. And so uh, I'm, I'm in a position where uh, I, can, I can make pretty strong promises to clients that, that we are going to achieve uh, what they're looking for from a, a kitchen table conversation. Thank you very much. My pleasure, Alan. Thank you so much for uh, inviting me to have a conversation.